Caution is advised. Hey everyone, welcome to Board Games Unlock, and today Kat and I are playing Chronicles of Crime. Oh, I thought we were playing Chronicles of Narnia. We were playing Chronicles of Narnia. That would be interesting. I mean, not really, it'd be really lame. It's a crime scene, Mr. Tumnus was like butchered and fucking killed. Okay, well it was obviously the evil white queen. Oh, but she has an alibi. <laughs> it wasn't her. Okay, then it was Lucy. Twas Aslan. <laughs> the Jesus metaphor. It was him. Uh, ooh, I have Kickstarter premium episodes and VR exclusive e episodes. And anyone who doesn't have the Kickstarter stuff are obviously losers. Their base game is fucking inferior to what I have because I happen to back it on Kickstarter. So, hmm, I'm better than you. Well, we're not no, doing any of those. Fucking we are doing the power behind, uh, basically the first scenario in the, the, the base game. Uh, what appears to be a single simple murder might lead you to find something darker hiding in the shadows. Uh, so there's chapter one, Facing Mystery. So there's, so there's three chapters in this. Uh, do you want to do easy, medium, or hard? What do you fucking think? What did you choose? I did easy, but it, it needed me to update it. So I did that. So yeah, well, we're just going to do chapter one, Facing Mystery. Because cat's kind of So, Chef Officer Doyle. Officer Doyle has summoned you to his office with his legs a-spread. Why, why Officer Doyle? Okay, I would not work for this man. Why? Because <laughs> he's clearly killed people. <laughs> so that is... He's killed people who have deserved it. <laughs> that, that's true. He's the Dexter of this world. Um, so, we, we have the, this, this uh, board cam... Uh, for you guys to see, but this game all runs on an app, and we and I do have the VR goggles, so I don't know how fun this is going to be to watch, but hopefully Kat and I are fun, and uh, yeah, probably not. We probably think we're better than we really are. I'm better than everyone I know. That's fair. You don't know and that's a good mindset though. to have. <laughs> uh, summon you to his office. Next. Your team has been put in charge of a murder which happened today in Hyde Park. Will you look for Hyde Park? It's, it's going to be D. Um, set these off to the side. We don't need to talk to Eric Gloomery, the obvious millennial. Like you. Yeah. Well, I guess hipster. Okay. So we'll just put that right there. And then there is who discovered the body, which is... Uh, oh, the gardener, which is 40. Bam. Yep, he killed her. 40, and then the body, which is 10. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Who's that? That's the dead body. Oh, that's the dead body? Yeah. Oh, no, she did it. <laughs> Let's go talk to her. Ma'am, can you t give me the scoop? <laughs> uh, come back to Scotland Yard once you know who did it. You don't necessarily need hard evidence for this case, because it's obviously the gardener. It was a suicide. All right, so we... Uh, we can talk to him, but we, we don't need to. Uh, do you want to talk? What do you want to do? You want to inspect the body? Yeah. All right. Well. It's VR, right? So we get to look into that? Uh, the VR is for the, the location. Oh, yeah. Scanning. Maybe you should go to the crime scene at Hyde Park to find the body. Fine! Okay, fine. Then I will do that. So, just going to... The victim's body is still here. You can investigate the crime scene or interrogate the gardener. Next. Uh, so we can, uh, we, yeah, we can investigate the body or we can search for clues. Let's search for clues just because this is this is the VR thing, oh. and that's that's what I want to do. Yeah, that's the whole point. Okay, so search for clues. Need to. <laughs> I almost put them backwards. Need to clip these on. Let's see how this works with a phone with a case. I suck. Take it off. No, it uh. Whoops. All right. So, babe. All right. I found. A, I see a shovel. So you need to look through that. Look through that deck. Really quick. I only have forty it seconds. It says food. There's more cards, idiot! <laughs> Paper, 
Um, um, there's a book. I see a book. Have you seen any bottles? No, just keep. I just look for what I'm saying. Damn. You suck at this already. Do you see a melee weapon? No, shut up. There's a doll. A doll. Looking for cards is hard because you have to read. Yep. Ooh, not any there's a purse. I think that's a purse. You think it's a purse? Yep, yep, we're just gonna go with a purse. Oh, I see some medical supplies, like a syringe. Oh god, I only have four seconds left. Uh, behind me, behind me. Oh shit, I hit the camera. Alright, well, that's all I got. <sighs> you found one. Yeah. Um, what was the first thing you said? I said there was a doll, a book, book. a syringe, and a shovel. No, there were DIY tools. Here, do you do you want to look through it? Um, we can we can have you inspect it, but that, that was pretty much all I saw. Yeah, but you also said you thought you saw a person. You weren't sure. Just so click. Here, take that first. Click yes, and then uh, then I will look, and then you'll just look through it. Did you click yes? No, I just wanted to. All right, well, this isn't calibrated to human eyes, but okay. <laughs> but you haven't. Observe and describe. Yep, that's a shovel. All right, shovel. Oh, medicine and oh, drugs. What the fuck? You can. I told you it's VR. A lot of police tape. Uh, gardening tools maybe for for shovel. It looks something kind of occultish maybe. It looks like no. I think it's just yeah. Anything else? No, I see the needles you were talking about. And her body looks like there's like a note. By her. A note? Yeah, and then there's something in the distance, but this is not fucking clear. Maybe it's not supposed to be, but a oh, note. God. Um. Oh. What? I ended. Oh, you already ran out of time? Yeah. Damn, that does go by quicker than. Yeah. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. So, uh, do you want to give? No. Oh, is that the purse you were talking about? Was the bag? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like the satchel. Okay. So, I am pleased to say that this will fit over a phone with a pretty thick case. Um, so, uh, I pulled out games and toys, gardening tools, medicine and drugs, and food. I don't think food was, was a thing. <laughs> so, let's put that one back. But, and I have books. Oh, you do have books, okay. Yeah. So, we'll... Oh. <laughs> so, books and magazines. Let's see if this is anything. An abandoned book apparently written in French, unusual for London. You found a clue! Bam! Alright. Next. Uh, games and toys. Let's see. An abandoned doll is on the floor. Where could her owner be? Uh, we found a clue! The doll. Uh, medicine and drugs. Those are used syringes. Drug addict. It would be good to find who hangs out in this part of the park. They might have seen something. You found a clue! <laughs> no fucking junkie's gonna tell us shit. Yep, yep, I sure did it. Did it for the drugs. She uh, the dealer. And then gardening tools. You pick up a shovel on the floor. It's slightly dented. Mm -hmm. You found a clue. It just all... Just keeps saying that and showing us on the... You found the murder weapon. Okay. Well, so we have those now. Yeah. Uh... I think we solved the case. Yeah, let's go. The shovel did it. The shovel did it. The shovel did it for the syringes. Yep. Okay. Who was madly in love with the doll and told the shovel to do it. What are we going to do? We want to talk to the gardener? He seems to be the only witness. Yes. You yeah. want to? Yeah. He might know some people who are fucking hang around here. He probably does all the drugs. Yeah. Okay. The gardener is next to the crime scene. He seems in a bit of a panic, but is willing to answer questions of on any topic. What do you want to talk about? Oh, okay, so now now we're in a conversation with Kyle Thomas, so we can look at, we can scan all of those oh. uh, to talk to him, or we can scan the body Ooh. as well. Okay. Um, okay. So I'll, I will leave it up to you. I will be, this is kind of what it looks like in case you guys you guys don't know. Uh, what, do, what do you want to talk to him about? What Let's you, talk about the drugs. The drugs? Okay. Yeah. I bet he knows. Ah, that's that's some good good heroin right good there. Black tar. Yes, I know. There is a drug dealer. Oh, drug dealer. 
She was blonde, and I uh, haven't seen her lately. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what a tool! <laughs> Freaking hey. That guy. That guy. That's the drug dealer right there. Um, okay. That operates in the park at night, but the police won't do anything about it. Uh, we can talk to him about his shovel. Sure. Sure. Probably not his shovel. Well, he's a gardener, and it's a shovel. They don't have shovels. Yep, that's my shovel. I left it there for lunch. It was a mistake, and I should have learned from the time that a homeless guy stole my tools from me. And that's 41. What a goofball. Oh, homeless guy. Uh, slide these down. Just slide that that shit up. So now, there's the homeless guy. <clears throat> want to see if he knows anything about the body? Um. Or you want to still do games and toys? I don't think he would know anything about the doll in the book. Book from that's written in French. Yeah, that's about the button. Let's see. I don't really know her, but we had a fight this morning because her little girl was ripping out my flowers. Do you know how much time it needs to make flowers grow? I was very surprised after lunch when I saw she committed suicide, so I called the police. What else could I do? Yep, you know those people who just commit suicide in the middle of the park? You know, you know the type. Hmm. So he thinks she committed suicide. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well... Maybe it was just all too much and motherhood was suffocating her. <laughs> I just want to read my book! <laughs> I've always wanted to learn French! <laughs> so she just ki it killed herself? Yeah, I would. Well, I don't think we're going to learn anything else from this guy. Alright, well, let's go talk to the fucking smack dealer. So the smack dealer? Or do you want to inspect the body? Oh, I thought we did. No, we haven't done that yet. We just saw her, her dead body. The death happened around midday. Uh, she's a young lady from a good family. Evidence of an attack is obviously on the body, but no identification was found on her. The body will be taken to the morgue. So then it's not suicide if there's not evidence of attack. Right. Right, so... Unless she wailed on her. Unless her daughter was <coughs> abusive. Yeah, yeah, her daughter, um, he killed her and made it look like a suicide. <laughs> Stewie in reverse. Uh, yeah. Um, well, it's not Stewie in reverse. Oh, oh well, I guess. Girl. Oh, that's fair. Stewie so acts like a little girl. Um, maybe the homeless guy saw what happened? Maybe. You want to talk to the smack dealer or the homeless guy? Both of them. Well, we don't have all the time in the world. Our very up upstanding citizen boss here <laughs> really he wants us to solve the case. Only kills people that deserve it. <laughs> that's true. He's a vigilante. So, okay. Sure. Uh, which one first? I will let you decide. You can have that marker that I think denotes. Unless, uh, we can go to the morgue. Oh. And maybe we can find out a little bit more about how she died. Oh. Well, you know what? I still want to talk to the dope dealer because... The only <laughs> one... Just because. Because, you know... Hey. I'm into bad ignore, boys. It, it, <laughs> ignore, the, ignore the body. Fuck that. I don't even care. No, because... What's, this, what's the deal on the smack? The only reason that the homeless guy was mentioned is just because the gardener was like, some bum stole my tools. Yeah, he stole his tools to kill her. And he's gonna frame the gardener. I think... Because the gardener looks ethnic, I and think he stole his gardening job from this guy. I think that the, the child was addicted to crack cocaine. Addicted to crack cocaine? Alright, you know what? Sure. <laughs> Yeah, I still. Okay. No one corresponding to this description here. All right, so he's not. He's not at this location. Oh, okay. Fine. That is makes a, sense. He is there at night. Oh yeah, is the homeless guy here? Hey, the homeless guy is here. His name's Ross Hart. Hey, Ross. Yo, man. What can I do for you? No, that's the other guy. No, no, he doesn't use. He's in a suit. Well, he doesn't have a tie. He's in a collared button-up shirt. He's casual. He doesn't use his own drugs. He doesn't look like someone who uses. He looks ex-military. If you know anything about drug dealing, which I know a lot of, uh, only shitty drug dealers do and use their own their own product. So, yeah. Rule number one of drug dealing: don't use your own product. That haircut. Yeah, that's true. What happened to you, Sarge? So, 
What can I do for you? Let's talk about the body. And her name was... Gorleen. Yeah, the Frenchie. I know her. She once asked me for weed once. I tried to hit on her, but she already had a date in an Irish pub in Soho. Hey, alright, well that's another location. I've seen her around with a nice looking black guy, much stronger than me. Wow! Uh, okay dude, okay Ross, I don't see color. Um... It's, it, it's literally an alphabetical word. You didn't tell me, you just said that's another location. Oh, see. Thanks. <laughs> And then we'll put that right there. Soho and, and Covent Garden. Once asked you for weed. Well, you know what? Let's ask about that gardening tool, man. The gardening tools that you stole. It's not mine, bro. I tried to make my own little private garden in a quiet area of the park, you see. But it didn't really work. I guess I don't have a green thumb. Trying to grow weed? Let's ask you about these medicine and drugs, because you're obviously using. Don't bother me with this, bro. It's I'm just a... Casual consumer. You should go and see Leonardo instead. Oh. Uh, so he can hit you with the harder stuff. Oh, we're like, hey, hey you got any more of them drugs? The track marks everywhere. Alright. I don't think he's gonna... Well, he knew French. Man, this guy isn't gonna know shit. Oh, what? So him? The, the, yeah. I told you. But she's French, so her book does make sense. It does make sense. So but why is she here? Because France is close. Alright, well thanks Ross, we're gonna go ahead and bibbity bop on out of here. Alright. So, did you want to... So, he's not around. Yeah. Um, Let's get bibbity bop on. We could go to Soho in the Covent Garden. Yeah. Uh, or we could go talk to Dr. Jeremy King, who is the autopsy. Let's go there real fast. Okay. Hey, buddy. We'll you call the morgue. You have a body for me in a study? Who do you think? You think he, he kind of reminds me of uh, Robin Williams and... Good will hunting. She's dead, Chief. My wife's dead. It's a really good movie. Chief. Um, uh, you've seen Good Will Hunting, right? Long time ago. That scene, do you remember where they were talking about, um, like, his wife used to fart in her sleep? I, I and they're, like, cracking up? Yeah. That was improv. Really? Mm hmm God, it's so good. Anyway. He, that, like, he just has such a specific art style about it right. that I can't... I'm digging the art. Yeah. I, like, it's, it's very, very realistic. I like it. Do um, you have a body for me to study? Yes, we do. Right here. <laughs> we have to drag it in ourselves. <laughs> the body shows obvious traces of a fight right before death. Her tense hands show that she was holding a weapon with both hands. The best estimate for the time of death is 12.30 p.m. The victim bled to death. Um, so she actually probably could have used the tool. The, the shovel. Yeah. Uh, so it is actually 1535, so it is 335 right now. So she, she'd been dead for about three hours. Okay. You want to write that down? Body dead for three hours. Uh, human specimen. Human? A human! Um, and Tense Hand shows that she was holding a weapon. Thanks, Jeremy King. Uh, and then just tell me whenever you're ready. Um, because there's a little bit more. There's a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I wonder if we can actually come back around nighttime and talk to this, this smack dealer. She's kind of cute. Those big old glasses. I think so too. Um, okay. it's a shame she got stabbed. Her kids stabbed her because she was trying to, <laughs> they tried to take the doll from no, her. No, so the mom was shooting up and the kids saw it and she was like, like you know how sharks their eyes roll into the back of their head? That's yeah. what hers did. And she like came at her mom with like a switchblade. Well, death was caused by a small melee weapon, piercing and cutting. Yep. Wounds on her stomach indicate she was stabbed by a right handed person. You should discuss the weapon with your suspect to make him talk. Wounds were... <clears throat> so they were caused from a small man they live in? Yeah. Um... <laughs> wait, do we even know if there was a kid involved? I don't, <laughs> I, I don't remember anything I'm about I'm just a kid. making the kids a crack addict for some reason. Gotcha, okay. Um, small... Well, I, that's what I thought. 
I don't know how to spell melee. That's unfortunate. M E L E. Oh, I did. Well, Super what, what Smash on? Brothers melee. What was cut on her? Her stomach. Her stomach. Yep, by a right-handed person. All right, so. So I got that. Her. Yep. So right-handed person cut her up. Um. Her kids right-handed. So we have no actual uh, suspect right now. Yeah, that's right. Oh man, can, can't does anything for fingerprints. It's the boyfriend. Yeah, some black guy apparently. Oh yeah. Well, Ross to, was very descriptive. Let's go to Soho. All right. Going to Soho the club. This is my happening spot. The barman, forty nine. Ah, Link is behind the bar, ready to make you a drink. Oh dear God, dude. What the fuck? What happened to your eye? Lost in the war. Okay, well, let's, uh, talk to him. What can I get you? Alright, so we're talking to him now, so let's ask about her, I guess. I've already seen this chick with one of my regulars, Abel. Abel! 48. Oh, there's the black guy. Abel was his name. I think he's black. Looks more gray. But there's there's Abel, everyone. Uh it was rather steamy between them. So, uh let's go so Huh, wonder if we can talk to him about Abel. We can. He's one of my regulars. I think he's working for a powerful woman or something like that. He always needs to decompress and he's not bad at it. Lately, I've been, I've seen him discussing a lot with Buck. Buck is number 44. My name is Buck. And Woo! I like to fuck. Well, there's Buck. He's Buck and he likes to fuck. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Buck! And I like to, and I like to fuck! You know what movie that's from? No, I have no idea. Let's go Oh, really? God damn it. He's just... Woo! He is. Wow. Um. Yikes. You can't me So, here. I'm going to go ahead and scan that. Um. Jesus. Oh, I guess I can't, uh. I guess we can't look at. I guess we can't search for clues. Okay. Uh, well, let's talk to Abel. He seems to be a happening guy. Okay. He doesn't seem to be there. Great! Can we scan the drug dealer? Maybe he's in Soho. Oh, yeah. Just, you know, maybe on the off chance, maybe. He's probably at the park, but... Uh, there's a glare. He is not here. And there's bucks there. Hopefully. What the hell? The police! I didn't do nothing! Uh, what do you want? Okay. Let's talk about Abel, because he was the one who was talking to him. Yes, I know Abel. He's a tough guy I drink I drink a few pints with. We sympathize. About what? Let's ask him about the drugs. Okay. These things are illegal. What? Do you want me to confess to the police? No way. Fair enough. Yeah. Let's talk to him about the book. The book? Yeah. They're both trying to learn French. <laughs> no, there's no way. There's no way. All right, so maybe her. I haven't seen anything, and I don't know about what happened this morning. Give me a break, would you? All right, man. What do, what, what do you want from us? He's just a crackhead. Yeah, but man. Um. Yeah. Okay. Well, can you talk to him about him, the drug dealer? About the. Like talk to him about the drug dealer. Yeah. Can. You? Leonardo send you? Tell him I'm gonna give him his money back. He just has to wait a bit so I can get his money. Okay. Okay, so Buck is, uh, he needs to give him his money. So they are affiliated. Yep. Yep. <coughs> uh, I can't really think of anything else to ask him. What's interesting about this game is you actually have items that you can talk to people about. Like, you can find a bunch of stuff. Go to every person, talk to them about everything. Granted, you're wasting a bunch of time, but you can still do that. Whereas in the other games, it's just like, all right, I guess we found this thing, and that's that's that. Well, I mean, you, you can't ever really talk to people about stuff, and that's why this game is spoilers awesome.
Okay. I was hoping to I'd be able to search, search for clues. Well, I mean, think about it. We're in a completely different part of town, so even if we found something, we'd probably be completely separate crimes that happened there. That's true. Okay. So, maybe if we go back... What time is it? In the game? Yes. Uh, 1625. Which is 6... 4. Oh. 425. Oh, you said it was 15 earlier. Sorry, I was thinking you said it was 15. Um, so, I'm thinking, so we know she was stabbed. Um, and she used a weapon, maybe the, the, the shovel. Um, yeah. so I'm wondering if we head back and talk to, who would stab her? Her boyfriend? Here, let's head back to the park and maybe talk to the gardener. Okay. Okay. Uh... Let's see. Oh, oh, she did have a little girl. Okay. That's, yeah. That's where we. That's where we know. Um, okay, so we can't really go back to him. I. Human psychology and crime history. Physical evidence, maybe the forensic laboratory yeah. on the shovel. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was like, maybe, because they're the people who read prints, right? Yep. And shit like that, yeah. Yep. So okay. Let's go there. So, let's check that out. You call the forensic lab. If you give me a physical clue, I can analyze it. The gardening tools. Yes. There's some blood on the shovel, according to the analysis. To my analysis, there are two different blood types. One is A positive and the other is B negative. Hey, we found a clue. Blood and organs. Blood and organs. Right there. Okay. So, that's another clue. God, I wonder if we can talk to her about that blood. Okay. The doctor will tell you more about the blood type of the victim. As for the suspects, I think you should ask them directly. We don't know who the suspects are! Wait, oh, the doctor. Okay, so let's go back to the morgue and see if we can figure out what kind of blood okay. is on. Goodbye! Good night. The doctor. Night time! Okay. The victim's blood type is B, B negative. Okay. Okay. So we need to find someone who is A positive. So she is B negative. Don't even remember her name. Frenchie. <laughs> huh? It's a Frenchie. Frenchie. Uh, okay. So she's B negative. So she she got her own blood on the weapon. Okay. So that's the doctor. Can just call these people. If I don't see a reason for the criminology center, the forensic laboratory, no. Hacking and intelligence, no. What do you think? Um. We should look at the needle. Oh, like have the forensics person look at the yeah needle. It's got DNA on it. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. These syringes have been used, and remaining traces show they contain drugs ranging from heroin to morphine. Great! That, oh wait, maybe the, I fucking, let's have her look. Okay, it's a lesson book in French about political science. It belongs to the collection of the French Embassy, which can be found in the Westminster District. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> So that was that. Let's have her look at the doll. This doll is rather new, even if some signs of use can be spotted. It's a rather expensive doll, but not the collector's type. Okay, so that seems to be everything. Okay. Goodbye, Lu Chin. Freaking racist. Wow, this game is, wow, so not PC. Okay, well, we have a new location. Let's go to Wentz. West. Westminster. Oh, and this guy is not at that location. But we do know, know, know about him. Know about him.
This is there is a security guard in front of the embassy. Forty-eight. Oh. Okay. Hey, buddy! Sorry, I can't let you in. What do you want? You recognize this dead body? That's true. And Emily was such a... Look, she hit on me. We had an affair and she wanted me to get a divorce and make a life with her. No way! It was just a physical... It was just physical between us. It meant nothing to me. Please don't say anything to my wife. I'll let you in if you keep your mouth shut. Dude, that's illegal. Where are the fucking police? Um, All right. that is true. <laughs> uh, let's ask him about this guy that he talks to. Okay. Okay. It's Buck, a lost soul, but rather nice. I met him in a bar in Soho. We talked a lot, but after all the beer we drank that day, I can't tell you what we talked about. Fucking lying bitch. Um. Can't think of. So, okay. Ask him about his blood. If it's his blood. Hey, uh, just out of curiosity, what blood type are you? Well, he said he'll let us in. If okay. we, uh... So I wonder if I can if we can scan this now. If we don't tell his wife. Oh, okay. Well, maybe if I scan him then. And then scan that. Nope. Okay, well. Guess you can't let us in. If we, uh, don't tell... Your wife? Okay. Maybe about the book? Yeah, that's right. It's a book from the embassy, but I can't tell you more about it. Okay. <sighs> yeah, ask them about uh, everything. I mean... Yeah? What about the homeless man? Because he saw them together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah, he, he doesn't know anything. What would, what would he fucking... Okay, so they, they had an affair. She wanted to... Um... Be serious. Yeah, she wanted to be serious and leave his wife, and he didn't want to. Ask him about the drug dealer real fast, because if... No, nothing. Okay, I was like, if Crazy Pants knows him, maybe he knows him. He says, uh, one of them said that he works for a powerful woman. Mm -hmm. And... Okay, he's not going to know the gardener. He's, he's only related to her. And he knew the homeless guy. Yeah, oh, maybe no, the maybe the, the blood? I mean that's that's all I can think of. His blood type is A positive. He he had to, the blood's on the weapon. Well, that doesn't mean shit. You know, every once in a while the games will just throw a red herring in there. We never know what the truth is. It doesn't mean shit that his blood is on the on Can the we confront him? and her blood. Can we confront him? Man, I don't know if we can scan him again while we're already talking to him. My name is Abel Jordan. I've been working as a security guard for the French Embassy for several years now. I am married and live a respectable life, even though I cheat on my wife regularly. I'm respectable, damn it. Uh. Just makes he's comfortable. Let's ask him about the the weapon, the guard, the shovel. Oh, no, he doesn't know anything. If I had to guess, if I had to just do my basic hunch, uh, she wanted to get serious, and he didn't, um, but she probably threatened to tell his wife about him, and he killed her, and she tried to fend herself off with the shovel that she happened to find. Yeah. Yeah, sure, why not? That's usually how it goes. Maybe, they're get, maybe they gave us an easy one. I mean, this is easy. <laughs> That is true. So, sure. and it's like there's not a lot of time on this. Yeah. All right. Well, then, yeah. All right. Let's go solve this case. All right. So, if we go back to... They're going to ask us a fucking question about, like, who is Leonardo's best customer. The chief officer tells you that the victim has been identified. It's Emily Gerard, a French woman living in the Kenningston district. Oh. Okay. If we actually looked at Scotland Yard, we would have found the Kenningston... Oh, I forgot about Scotland Kensington Yard. district. Uh, Whoops. So, we could go there if you wanted to. Or we can try and solve the case. Uh, well, do you think it's worth it to go there? To check out her place of residence? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay. It's a F. <coughs> oh, I wonder if the criminologist would come in handy based off of Abel. Is that 
showing up. Yeah, eight. Do it down here. All right, now we're not going to solve the case yet. The house is big and looks expensive. The name Blanche is written on the mailbox. When you ring at the door, a woman opens. It's like it's just this nude picture. What the hell of the designer? Uh, I... Jesus Christ. Like, okay, so this is like weirdly... Like... <laughs> Hello! I live here! Night has come, but you can't wait until tomorrow to continue the investigation. The chief officer informs you that a little girl, number 14, is missing and was last seen in the park. Does this have something to do with your investigation? 14. Oh, night has come. Okay. 14! Aww. The little girl, right there. Okay, so we'll just put that right next to that. Well, while we're here, the victim's home, let's talk to her. Sorry, Miss Blanche isn't home yet. I will help you if I can. That's not her name. Um, not the victim. That is not the victim's name. Oh, shit. Is that Abel's wife? It might be. Okay, well, she's not there. Yeah, oh, she, yeah, you're right. She is not there. Well, let's ask her about the victim. Sweet Emily. Dead? That's horrible. She was the nanny of Clara, the ambassador's daughter. Uh, where is Clara now? So, she was the nanny of this little girl. Yeah. Who was horribly addicted to <laughs> So I'm assuming, yeah, that, that that's Abel Blanche, and that's his wife. She's not there. He, well... Or well, that's his boss. Huh? Or it could be. Yeah. Um. Hmm. We should probably go back to the park. Yeah. Uh, uh well, actually, maybe. hold on. Maybe this toy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Madam's birthday present to little Clara. Or Clara. It's probably Clara. I don't it's know why It's probably I'm Clara. <laughs> it's probably Clara. That's how they say it in Doctor Who. Uh, okay. I don't think this nanny or this whoever Martha Boyle is. Okay. So it's night time. So back to the park. It's night now and the park's attendance has changed drastically. Uh, well, let's, let's search for clues. Search, search for clue or Looks like there's just rave sticks and all kinds of drugs everywhere. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh my god. Oh. Yeah, it's not the best as well with a specific case. Yeah. Eh. Because it needs to be right on this yellow line. And because... Okay. Alright, well, okay, so the body's still there. That's good. Yeah, there's the doll. I think those notes that you were thinking about were just the... The letters. Um, yeah, there's the book. I wish you could, like, zoom in. Like, actually, like, walk forward. But, yeah, trying to inspect her body a little bit more. There's something that looks like in her left hand. But I can't quite tell. She's got the blood in her. What it is. Okay. Yeah, there was nothing different okay. that I saw. That's uh, that's kind of lame. I I really wish that the VR like locations changed or the people. I guess you never really see the people anyway in it's like in the in the VR thing. So oh well. But they said the park's attendance has changed drastically. How would we check that? Um. I'm assuming it's th this guy. Uh, that's what I would assume as well, yeah. You find the shady guy in the corner of a park. Okay. Let's talk to him about these drugs. It's probably just a way Okay, you let me do my business and I give you names. Ross and Buck. They are the ones you will find most easily in the park. Ross. Okay, so that's him yeah. and Buck. Oh. 
I'm assuming the gardener probably went home. Yeah, he doesn't work. Uh, yeah, he doesn't work. Let's move her. Huh, so we are crooked. We let fucking drug dealers. Okay. Uh, let's see if he knows anything about the body. Yeah. It's true, I sold her some drugs, but that doesn't make me a murderer. Oh, man. Well, we didn't ask you. We didn't murder him. It just seems to... Um, so he's gonna... He'll, he'll know Buck. Eh, I already gave you some names. Didn't expect me to tell you about his life on top of it. Buck is a guy with no luck, that's all. Okay. So, blood and organs. He just does... He just sells drugs. Can we ask him about him? Uh, Abel? Don't see why not. Show me a picture of your mother. It'll have the same effect on me. Guess he doesn't know him. Or he likes him. He's like, ooh, he's kind of hot. What? <laughs> um, okay, so he just gave us names. He's He couldn't really tell us about the body, except that he sold her some drugs. <sighs> maybe he's seen the little girl? Yeah, maybe. Nope, same, same thing. Okay. It's like, oh yeah, there's a sex trafficking marine. <laughs> oh! This is a dark game! Right? Um, I'm wondering if uh, we should have gone to the Kensington and Chelsea uh, during the day. Oh, yeah, you're right. Huh. Well, let's see if Buck is here. Well, he is, but... Oh! He said, that, oh, these are the guys you'll most, most likely find here. So who are our friends down there? What do they do? No, no, no. Hold on. Oh. Okay, well, the girl's missing. Yeah. Oh, uh, we have the criminologist, human psychology and crime history. Jeremy King, he's our doctor. Uh, Lou Chin is our scientist. And then Eric Gloomery, he's our hacker. But I can't imagine he would do anything for us in this situation. Yeah. So, okay. So, she was the, the caretaker, or the nanny to her. Mm-hmm who lived at Kensington, and that said that was the victim's house, right? I thought so, God, yeah. I quit yawning, god damn. Uh, and so that's the Blanche. I'm wondering if, if Abel would know anything about her. Maybe. Oh god, all this driving around. Alright, so... Guard nods and lets you enter. You can now talk to the ambassador. Okay. Thanks, Abel. We still told your wife. Wait. Oh, the ambassador. Her. Her, her, her. Alright. The ambassador wants to see you with haste. What is the topic of our meeting? Probably your daughter. How do you know about my daughter's kidnapping? They told me not to warn the police, and I hope talking to you won't put her in more danger. I received a message on my phone. Keep the phone, uh, number three, if it can help. Badass. Found a clue, special item number three, phone. This is probably where our hacker will come into play. Okay, so Louise Blanche. You know anything about the dead body? Poor Emily. I did not know she was dead. I thought she was a suspect when she was really a victim. Boo. What's your relationship like with this guy? With Abel? It's Abel Jordan. He's the ambassador's security guard and also my bodyguard when required. I trust him even if I believe he had an intimate relationship with Emily. He did. He did butt stuff. Like you do. Alright. She's not going to have any relation to any of these other fucking people. You don't think she knows Buck? <laughs> Everyone knows Buck. It's just, it's Buck. Okay. So, let's check out this phone. You already have the phone, so maybe you should show it to someone. Thanks. <laughs> this really is easy. You call the IT department. Help. <laughs> have we tried turning it off and back on again? It's fucking on. <laughs> A technological issue. That's my specialty. 
Great! Tell us about this phone. I managed to track the message. It was sent from an abandoned house in Lambeth District. H. And we, that just says over there. Okay. Thanks, buddy. You're not going to know anything else. <laughs> Gee, would you like to tag along? I'm sure it could be all you if he wants to win. <laughs> freaking neck beard. He doesn't even have a beard. All right. So drive into Lambeth. We are the police. You can look for someone in the district or go to the abandoned flat you have discovered. Oh, the phone's ringing. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's pretty neat. It's the head. The phone the ambassador gave you has a new message. If you want to see your girl alive, you have three hours to put the money in the third trash bin from the left of the main entrance of Hyde Park. Write that down. Hyde Park. Put uh, three hours to put the money in third trash bin. From the left. <laughs> Just right on the back. <laughs> I don't waste like a whole back of paper. I got that notebook. Where was it? What was it? <coughs> uh, Three hours. Money, third trash bin from the left of the main entrance. Of Hyde Park. Did she just give us her phone? Here, take it! It's oh. a phone. I think it's her phone. Third you should show this message to the ambassador. Third trash can from the left of Hyde Park. It's not that hard. <laughs> okay. So, do you want to search for clues? Sure. Cool, cool. Let's put on this VR thing. I'm like scared I'm going to break this. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably. Well, I'll either have to start using your phone when we play this, or I'll just have to take my case off. Hold on. Um, this case is a pain in the ass to take. Ugh, there we go. Oh god, my phone feels so small. That's going to be way better. All right, so then you'll hit the green button. Oh. And then describe what you see. All right, well, uh, okay, so there's, um, it's a hat, well, yeah, there's a calendar, let's see, there's a front of TV, kind of smashed bottles on the floor, a trash can with paper in it, uh, looks like left, oh, well, son of a bitch, there's a bloody knife on the floor. Well. <laughs> <laughs> there's a can. There's, oh, there's some little girl clothes. Clothes? Oh, okay. Yep. Um, muddy footprints, a tipped over chair, some more leftovers, bottles, something's hanging from the ceiling. Oh, yeah, there's a couple things from the ceiling, like ropes. Um, bottles? broken mirror, yeah, bookshelf. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So, okay, here, you'll look through that. I will also look. Okay. This guy, I just want to do it. <laughs> oh, a knife. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty badass. Oh, I see a. Uh, okay, so yeah, little girl clothes, uh, like you said. Um, yeah, TV. Yeah. Uh, there's there's a medicine, so there's a syringe there. So which we already have. Uh, food. There's food over there. Oh, that's true. Um. Oh, yeah, it looks like cables up in the thing. Oh, there's a window. <laughs> and this is uh, some skanky-ass place. Yeah, you have a calendar, like you said. Okay, I think the only thing I found that you didn't was, um, was food. Well, I said there was takeout boxes. Oh, gotcha. All right. Well, there's bedding in there as well. So melee weapon. I got melee weapon clothes, papers, footprints, and traces. All right. So let's check off the melee weapon. You think? You said you found a knife. Where was the knife? I missed it. It's on the floor, right by the takeout. A knife with blood on it. Maybe they put it there on purpose because you're not gonna. 
I don't know, you just won't be expecting it to be just right there. That's true. Uh, clothes. These are child's clothes for a girl and a boy mixed together. Ow. Papers. You found a paper in the trash bin. It says, we know what you did. We can pay for what you have. Signed, M Organization. Oh. Add zero 02 to the clues board. It's a business card. Papers. Okay. Special item, M Organization. Footprints. There are some muddy footprints on the floor. One is size 8, the other is size 1. It's a good thing we decided to keep investigating because we probably could have locked up the wrong man for 30 years. Oh, oh a man. I thought they meant like hey. one foot size 1 and the other one's an 8. <laughs> <laughs> what a freak! Okay. And then I found the food. Food and, uh, oh, yeah. cords? Yeah, because, yeah. like, did you see the stuff hanging from the Yeah, yeah. alright, so I handed me those. Because I wasn't sure if, like, that was actually anything. Nope. But. That is nothing there. Probably food might not matter. Some leftover food shows the place has been used recently. Okay. Alright. So that was Lambeth and Brixton. It is 11.50 in the game. Alright, well, we don't have long. We have 10 minutes until it's tomorrow. Did I say 11.50? I meant it's 9.50. Oh. I suck. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so we were supposed to go show the ambassador that message. Okay. Do we have any new items that... <sighs> okay, yeah, we do. So, the forensic e evidence. Uh, let's have her examine the knife. The blood on the knife is, is of the B-minus blood type. Yep, that's not surprising. Uh, have her examine the food. The food? Yes. It's an adult meal and a children's meal from some fast food place. Okay. The footprints, maybe? It's confirmed that the mud found in the footprints came from Hyde Park. Oh. So, yeah, this is a, whoever took, who would take her? Um, hmm. Is it Buck because he needs to blackmail someone for money to pay back with money? Hmm. Could be. And Buck wasn't there. So. That is some place he would live. Uh, so we got the melee weapon. Anything about the M, M card? I need a concrete clue to analyze did you pick up the object before sending it to the lab. Okay. So, that is that. Oh, hold on. What about the criminology center? And maybe we can find out about Buck. Yeah, he has a history of kidnapping children. Buck Barton is a drug addict without money. He has frequent mood swings, and we can't say he's really reliable. And the drug dealer. Leonardo Baruch is well known to law enforcement, but he always manages to find ways to stay clear of the police. He's not a big dealer, so he usually gets away with it. You can find him in Lambeth District most of the time. Hmm. Okay. And the gardener! Kyle Thomas has been working for the town for many years now. He's a quiet man with a quiet life. He seems to be patiently waiting for his retirement, but underneath his calm exterior, he's an anxious man on the inside. I don't think he has any reason. I was just wanted to see if he was shady, actually. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. All right. So here's here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna go back there. I can be closer. Uh, so now let's go talk to the ambassador. And let's talk to her about the phone. The previous message told me to gather half a million pounds. I just managed to get all the money together. What should I do with it? You're from the police, I'm trusting you, but get my little girl back alive. Add, add clue one to the board. So now we have money. We have half a billion pounds. So now, I'm guessing we can go back to 
Hyde Park. Are you sure you want to exit interrogation mode and move to crime scene D? It's night now in the parks. Attendance has changed drastically. Okay. Okay, so the girl's not there. Like, cause I'm wondering if we can still search for clues, but it's not gonna... Okay, this is just as good. Yeah, it doesn't... I don't think it's going to be interesting. No, it's not. That's kind of disappointing. I wish you could actually see the people there. Oh. I mean, the artwork's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, okay. All right, I guess you can't. Uh, whoo, let's look up at the sky. Oh, wow. Is it really good? What if right up at the sky it said, like, this is the murderer? <laughs> the murderer is this person. Alright. So, I guess we'll scan the money. You put the money in third bin to the left of the main entrance. Event! You wait for an hour, hiding in the park to see if somebody comes to pick up the park. You spot a man in the dark, a skinny guy with messed up hair. He's walking unsteadily. <gasps> He flees when you try to arrest him and you give chase. Unfortunately, he's, he seems to know the area better than you do and manages to escape with the money. Damn it. Well, shit. It's Buck. It is Buck. It has to be. Yeah. Well, he's all mess up here. Yeah. Okay. What if we went to Lambeth? Back to Lambeth. You think we should go back to Lambeth? Yes. What else well, you got? Because that's where they said that the drug dealer was known to hang out. So either Lambeth or maybe back to Soho. Because he hung out at the bar. It has to be Buck. Cause like, I think you were on to something with he kidnapped the daughter to get the money yeah. to pay him. Yeah. So if he's from there, that's probably where Buck oh, would be. Oh, and he'd be going back to him. Yep. That's what I'm thinking anyway. I can see that. You can look for someone in the district or go to the abandoned flat you have discovered. Oh, let's look for him. Let's see if he's there. You find the man in the streets of Lambeth. What do you want with me? Buck. Buck. Buck just gave me a big pile of cash for all the drugs I had. I hope he doesn't take it all for once or he'll overdose for sure. Okay, so the money does not know the little girl. Show me a picture. Ah, you fucker. I have things to do, so... Okay, well, so... So, it, it was Buck. Yeah. Soho? Yeah, let's try it. Um, nope, he's not there. Mm. Maybe he maybe he's, maybe he knows where he's at. What can I get you? Do you know where Buck is? He was here not so not so long ago, but he left. He's gone now. He's a squatter in Lambus, so maybe you should head there. Mm. The chief officer is calling me. We can't wait anymore. We need to act. I'll take care of the arrest, but give me a suspect. As soon as you have enough suspicion on who to arrest, go back to Scotland Yard and tap on the button and solve the case. Well, yep, I say we arrest Buck. I say we arrest Buck, yeah. Uh, yes. You are in London's police headquarters, New Scotland Yard. Solve the case. Are you, sure, are you going about to... Are you about to try to solve the case and end the game? Are you sure? Yes. Who murdered number 10? Buck? Yes. What was the murder weapon? The melee. the melee weapon, I'm guessing. Why was number 10 killed? Money. You think it was money oh, wait, or, or the girl? Oh, why was number 10 killed? Yeah, number 10, which was her. Um, yeah, probably. It's either... The girl. Because that's why the doll was left there. They were obviously together. Yeah. Who was selling drugs to number 10? This guy. Who is having an affair with victim 10? This guy! Wow, it's all about victim 10. You're a rust buck who was totally high. You didn't think it was possible to spend so much money on drugs so quickly. Oh, dang it. Okay. Uh, we could close the case now, but Buck also confessed that he has been contacted by a mysterious organization who wanted to buy the girl. We oh need to God. investigate this. To be continued. So, 
Case closed in 11 hours and 40 minutes, less than 12 hours. We got plus five. Damn, uh, we got all of them right. Who murdered number 10? Uh, it was Buck. Uh, melee weapon, so the small knife. Why was, he, why was he killed? For the girl who was selling drugs, it was him. And who was having an affair, it was him. And was the murder weapon found? It was. We got 105 out of 100. Hell yeah, yeah. Take that, Sherlock. <laughs> Buck needed money while the and this is yeah fuck you Sherlock. Buck needed money while the embassy security guard was slightly drunk. He told Buck about the rich family he was protecting and the affair he'd had with their nanny. Buck had an idea: kidnap the ambassador's daughter while she was at the park. The nanny Emily tried to stop him with the shovel, uh, so Buck panicked and killed her with a knife before he ran away with Clara. Oh, man. The fact she sometimes bought the fact she sometimes bought some drugs from Leonardo Baruch has nothing to do with her death. So, that was Chronicles of Crime, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Click the I to go to the discussion. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for watching this. And if you like this video, then click the subscribe button below to enjoy any video that I put out. And right next to that subscribe button is a little bell. Click that so you get notified of whenever I actually upload these videos. If you want to support the channel, you can definitely visit my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.